Hi, I'm Tim Keen. In a previous video, I showed how I made this double wall alcohol stove, and this inner wall is a cone shape. It's bigger at the top than the diameter at the bottom. The reason for that is where the inner wall fits under this upper rim in the stove, this rim is a larger diameter than this channel in the bottom that it also has to fit into. So it has to be two different diameters. Unrolled, it's this shape. And I promised in that previous video I'd show you how to make this curved shape for the inner wall. I also promised no math involved. I start with graph paper. I downloaded mine from zimstoves.net. You don't have to use graph paper. It just makes the lines easier to draw square. I need to plot this upper diameter and this bottom diameter on that T. And I'm not even going to measure. I'm going to use a piece of paper. Hold it to the largest diameter and mark it. And then I'm going to fold the paper because I need to find the center of that diameter. And I'll mark that on my capital T. Now I need to do the same thing with the bottom. I'll hold it to the largest diameter and mark it. Fold it in half to find the center and mark that. Now I need to measure down an inch and a half because that's how tall the inner wall is, inch and a half. And I'll plot those two points. Now I'm just simply going to join those four points. These two, and I'm going to make a straight line joining them. And these two, and I'll make a straight line joining those. And you can see they're going to converge somewhere down here. And I gave it away already. They're going to converge right there. This works for any size can, not just the three I'm showing, but this is the one for a 12 ounce can and I've measured this and the distance from where they converge here crossing the T, this is 12 and a half inches away from the top of the T. And you can draw the radius now, this is the center point, with a thumbtack and a piece of string and then a pencil held up here and draw your arc. I draw a lot of arcs, so I actually have a homemade trammel. Two blocks of wood, a quarter inch dowel. This block is glued to the dowel and has a little nubbin of extra dowel to fit in a hole I drill so I can use that as a pivot point. This block has a hole drilled for a pencil to go through and it also has a locking knob. So I can set it for the right radius, put that in the pivot point, and then mark my radius mark my arc. Now I'm going to reset it for an inch and a half less. And mark that point. And that's it. That's the two arcs. They're going to make this intersection of wall. To determine the proper length, so it'll fit in the stove properly when I like a 3 eighths of an inch overlap, there's some fancy math involved. I didn't do that. I actually cut these arcs, cut this curved piece out of a full can and rolled it up and put it in the stove and then marked where it overlapped 3 eighths of an inch and I made it that length. I'll give you what I came up with from point to point, this longer uh, measure at the top points, six and three quarters of an inch straight across, not following the curve, straight across, six and three quarters of an inch. So I'll measure that. And 
and then use the straight edge to mark lines that converge on this same center. And that is your pattern for the inner wall. And it works no matter what size cane you're using, as long as they're, you're using an inner wall that's two different diameters. The three most commonly available cans to me, the 12 ounce beverage can, the seven and a half ounce mini, and a V8 size can, I've already done the work for you. So the 12 ounce can we just did, 12 and a half and 11 inches are the two radii involved. So from the center to here, it's 12 and a half inches. And with an inch and a half wall, it's gonna be an inch and a half less for the second radius. This one is 11 inches and mark your radius. For the seven and a half ounce can, the two radii are 21 and 19 and a half. So further up, same center, it's gonna be up here somewhere. And then for a V8 size can, 23 and a half and 22, so all the way to the top of this board. You can cut your template out of paper, stiff cardboard. If you're only gonna make one can, one stove, you can unroll that intersection of can and draw directly on the aluminum. I plan on making more than one can, so I'm actually going to cut mine out of this quarter inch MDF for permanent templates. Guys, I hope this helped with your stove building. Thanks for watching.